All right, let's take a look. An 1130 kilogram car travels to the right, velocity 6.94 meters per second. Collides head on with a 1300 kilogram car traveling to the left at 4.17 meters per second. Now we will take a look just at the before picture. Here's what I would like you to do. Get your calculator and your paper and your pen, hit pause, and find the momentum of each of those objects. And then find the total momentum of the system before the collision. We find that momentum equals mv, and we have the mass and the velocity, so we put the numbers in, and we multiply. And we take the calculator, or as many significant figures as we can on our calculator. We don't change anything. We have the momentum of the first. The momentum of the second, 11, uh, 1300 times 4.17. And notice the negative sign. The velocity is to the left. It's negative. It is so important to get that right. I'm emphasizing this as much as I can. And the momentum, then, is to the left, 5421 kilograms meters per second. To find the total momentum of this system, the two balls moving towards each other, we take the momentum of each and add them up. This is a linear momentum. They're in a one straight line. And the answer becomes 2421.2 kilogram meters per second. And that's the total momentum of the system before the collision. Now let's set that aside. And what I would like you to do now is work out the after picture. Hit pause and find the total momentum now after the collision. We read that after the collision, they come together, they collide, and now they move together as a unit. And we know since the before was a positive number, the after will be a positive number. It will move to the right. And the total momentum then, after the collision, the total momentum of this system is the total mass times the velocity. They've joined together, so it's the 1130 plus the 1300. And we have 2430 kilograms times the unknown velocity. We also know now that the total momentum of this system after the collision will equal the total momentum of this system before the collision. The before equals the after. The after equals the before. There's what we got before. And now they want us to find the velocity. So I can take this uh, momentum we got before, set it equal to this momentum afterwards, and from that, I can find the velocity. And the velocity equals, we divide the two numbers, and we get 0 0.996 meters per second, and we will add to the right.